A common use case we're seeing as more and more MQ customers adopt a hybrid cloud strategy is the need to connect MQ with Kafka. If you're not familiar with Kafka, it's an open source event-centric platform developed specifically to stream a high volume of digital records. As an example, you might want to use MQ with Kafka to stream inventory changes from your DB2 database running on ZOS out to Kafka via MQ messages. Apache Kafka servers can also be referred to as Kafka brokers are organized into clusters. With the Kafka connector running on ZOS, data can be passed between MQ subsystems and your Kafka clusters. The Kafka connector does not need to be run on the same server as the Kafka broker it's utilizing. You can either use Kafka connector as a sync connector or as a source connector. A sync connector passes data in the direction of Kafka to MQ, whereas a source connector passes message data in the direction of MQ to Kafka. When the MQ source connector reads a message from MQ, it chooses a schema to represent the message format and creates an internal object called a record containing the message value. Each record is then processed using a converter, which creates the message that's then published on a Kafka topic. As of MQ 9.3, MQ contains a streaming queue feature, which allows a message that's put to a queue to be duplicated to a secondary queue called the stream queue. You can use streaming queues in conjunction with the Kafka source connector in two main ways. Firstly, if you want to be able to stream a copy of existing data moving through MQ into Kafka, or secondly, if you want a way to get data into Kafka that ensures that the data is only sent if the transaction on ZOS commits successfully. Using Kafka with streaming queues enables you to stream ZOS message traffic without impacting performance on ZOS. 